of all, I want to show you how to operate it, our PLC screen of the polling machine. Next thing right here. After we turn on the switch, so we can see the screen like this, we can touch the English version and enter the system and touch shape operation screen. Okay, this is the first interface that we will see. Let's see the first value here. This is the Y diameter. Apparently, it means the diameters of your cable. If your cable's diameter is five millimeters, you could touch the blank space right here and put in five millimeters and then touch this enter. That's it. And let's see the second one. This is the line starting point. It means actually it's when the wires go through this pipe and come out from here. This is the star position of the cables before it's going to be wind. And it has a distance between the cables to the bottom platform. This is the distance. So this distance basically is already set, so we don't need to change anything. Let's see the third one. This is the cable width. What's that mean? It means the length of the cable cords that you want to want. Okay, we can measure it. Well, it's around eight centimeters, so it's equal to 80 millimeters. It also related to the top, the distance from the top to the end, to the bottom platform. It's the same because we need to make sure um, this length is equal to this length. So we could enter 80 here. That's it. Okay, let's see the deleted start time. So I started millimeters. Actually, it doesn't need to change. Okay, let's see the last one. This is the set light length. We all know that each course have a defined length of the cables, such as you want to core 300, millimeter, 300 meters per core. Then you could enter 300 meters. And as you can see on the white part of the screen, you can basically see the use, the speed, and current light length, and also the front group light length here. So you could easily understand the whole uh, machine's production process. After you finish all these settings, you want to save the data, then you could see the blank space white in the upper left corner here. You can save the data by setting a name here, such as BBV5 and touch enter. BBV5, enter then your name is already set. And this is the serial numbers which is related to your name here. And then you could press the save button below. That's it. And if you want to, want to select the data that you want to, you want to make the cables, then you could touch the plus button and also the minus button to select the group of data that you want to use. Such as this one. This BVV5 group of data is what you want to select. Then you could press the inquire buttons first and then press the download buttons here then this group of data is show up on the screen. Okay, so after your first course of cables come out, 
you can measure the cables, the length of the cables to see if the length is match the setting length while on the screen. If you measure this, if this cord of cable is measured as 301 meters, which means that it's one meter more than 300 meters uh, in the setting. This means here has some error, right? But a little bit error is acceptable. It doesn't need to worry. So let's how to let's show you how to do it. Actually, we could press the triangle symbols right down here, right down below. This one, the green one. Touch it. And then here has a blank space saying the actual length. Well, if your actual length is 301, you could input 301. Last step is to touch this correction button. And we are done right here. And then the system will automatically fix by itself. So we doesn't need to worry about that, the error. The machines will automatically produce the wide diameter as what you set at the first time. Let's see the values in the middle of the screen. We can see first two values. It means the arm A and arm B position. This is the arm A and this is the arm B. If you've got a smaller course like this, actually the distance between these two legs would be closer. And this means the value should be larger, like 160. But when it comes to the larger course like that, which is larger than this one, then the distance between these two legs needs to be larger. So the value should be smaller. I will show you how it works. First of all, we could touch this back to zero button to make the arms return to the original position. There we can see how it works. This is the smaller color. We could input 150 and touch this manually. Can move this cable easily, right? So this value should be larger than this. We could change it to 150. Touch manually on. And now I can move it easily. It's fixed right here. So now the precision is okay. Let's move the arm back to the original place. Then we change it to the large core. This is so large, so the value needs to be smaller. I will decrease the numbers of just a little bit to adjust each time. First of all, I will put in 100 to see how it works. Well, we have a, a lot of space, so this value is not correct. Then I will try 120. And now it's okay. It's stable. It's stabilized by the arms. And it's fixed now. Okay, let's move to the tensions of the arms. Basically, the tensions means that the tightness of your legs when they hold the cables. Such as I put in 10 here. I could easily move away the legs, the arms here. But when I put in 30, which is larger, then the tension is really huge. I, I can move away easily. Okay, let's see the last part, the speed. Oh, now the arms is back to the original position and we can see okay I will uh, I will put in 10 first and to see the speed speed of the arms 
and you can see right here it's so slow right but when I change it to 30 and it's different okay I, I would need to return to the original place first it's a lot faster than the 10 value so this stage is basically you can adjust it Table. Let's move to four, the coding screens right here. Let's see the left side of the screen first. This one is the plastic film terms. This is the plastic films right here. This is used to cover on the surface of the cables. <laughs> so these numbers, these figures basically means the length of the films. It means how long of the fumes that needed to core one core cable. And the second one is the numbers of the windings. This represents how many circles of fumes need to be wrapped around the core to cover the whole core. Actually, these figures will be needed to the overlap rate. The greater the overlap rate it is, the more fuel is needed. So the larger of these two values. Okay, let's see the third one. The third one is the numbers of the loose floors. I will show you what is loose floors. This one. The functions of this one is used to help wrap the cable course smoothly. So the value is generally set to 2. It's the set value, so it doesn't need to be changed. And also the instructions that we send to you, we show you how to set this part, so don't worry about that. The fourth one is the pre-start labs. Actually, due to the technical requirements, Generally, when a course is about to finish wrapped, the machines need to slow down. So generally, when the wrap reaches the last two laps, this is the circle. When this circle reaches the last two laps, pre-stop is required. So enter two in this blank space. Actually, when the, no the normal speed of the C cycle is set right here. C rings high speed. Well, when the speed is uh, turns to slow down, actually the speed will a little bit low, like 8. We could put it right here. Let's see the last one. This is the fuel break. Similarly, due to the because of the technical requirements, if we if we use the small size fuel like this, we would enter 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 here. But if we use the bigger size fuel like this, actually we could input zero. It's the technical requirement to make sure everything. one we already talked just now so let's see the last two one last two this one is the loose standard time and the return time actually all these two values is related to the labor this is the labor this labor needs to be stick on to the cables like this so how it works here we have the devices is used to it's used to stick the labors like that and then move these labors right here. And then these labors will stick on the surface of the table. And these two values actually is set 
according to the technical requirements. Basically, we will enter 1.5 on the loose standard time here. And the return time, we will set 3. Yeah. 